Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. In the case, I'm back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create beard or hair inside this and a 4D of human body. So, let's start. So, I have here some urban look uh, 3D model. So, we create a beard and then after we create a hair for this uh, face. So, let's start. So we just hide this, uh, what we say, and catch you on from his head. Okay. So first we start with a beard. So first we need to select a polygon where we want our beard. So uh, you need to be a, uh, just think you need to be a digital barber for a moment. So just think like how you have beard. Uh, like a barber thing like a barber where is uh, on which body part you have hair or which body part you don't have hair so let's start from, from selecting our polygons so as you know we have beard like we just select the live selection too so we just like our beard like that So we want it from both sides like that. like this or and we add some beard here and also a mustache so we just slide and grab like that So this is our beard shape so you can do anything I just uh, mainly show you how you can create or you can create any style you want so let me show you how you can perfect realistic look beard so when you select this selection just go in simulation and uh, in or hair object add hair so we just for now we just take it out and paste it there wait sorry for that my the mouse is giving me a little bit hard time so let's start so as you can see we have a uh, here right now where it's a two uh -huh. it's a two what we say too long here so what we go on here tab and in guides so just change the length to some kind of uh, one or no, it's too big I change it to a 0.5 so it's looking okay for me so this is not the quantity of or quantity of hair which you see there this is just a guide so main hair we have now 5000 hair on his face when we render it as you can see there is now we have some hair on it so i'm using redshift for rendering it so you can use hair uh, with redshift uh, really easily so you can change material or anything with that so as you can see here now it's showing up as uh, some kind of beyond here because there is also some what we say this is too thick we need to in decrease the thickness and many more things so let's say first create our beard material we just go and create redshift material and just ideal normal material so we just paste it on our hair 
tab so as you can see it's the you see there is a reflection on it because our redshift material have reflection we change it to a black and we just and the reflection like that no more reflection but as you can see here there is a still some we have something whiteness because of this specularity we just go in our hair material we just change it to a gray and in color doesn't matter so now we add a dome light for looking more good as you can see now it's a black beard on your face but we make it more looking good so we just stop it for now we go in hair tab again and go in editor change display from guideline to hairline so as you can see there is a all uh, hair you can actually render this is a full amount of hair you can add the more detail but I don't want add detail we just have uh, 25% go in here add more so as you can see there we have more here so now we need to trim this hair like a barber so let's start how we can do that we go we have here our tools so here we just we first we start with a brush so first we need to add a hair collider body on our uh, polygon so we just select the layer of our selected object so we go in hair tag and add hair collider so let me show if you don't add it so what's happen when you click on as you can see it's, inter uh, it's interact your uh, object or polygon it's go inside these polygons but when you have this tag here when you play it as you can see it stay on the top of this polygon so we don't want it right now so first we select a uh, brush tool and click on collisions so now just think how you have beards just like your hair looks like. As you can see, I don't know correctly how beards look because I'm not barber. If you are, some of you have uh, experience. So, like that, I think it look like this. So make it a little bit smaller, like point two centimeter. I am growing beard and we select now cutting to so make it be cutting from there like it look like something brush cutting or trimmed hair Interview. We just click on again. So as you can see, it's not looking good because we have need to decrease the thickness of our hair. So we go on hair material thickness. We just change it to point zero one and point zero one. As you can see here, now we have 
something like uh, not fully growing beards. There is some. I don't know why is that. So let's see. Let me check. Why is this happening? Something not a good barber trim this beard. So why there is no hair? Little cut. So okay, let's get it out right like this. So as you can see. It's too dark. We need to make it a little bit uh, lighter color, like that, brownish. Now it's looking better. Now we create. Uh, you can do many things with that. So we can trim it from here, like. Cut. I don't. Again, let's see how it looks like right now. Mm. So, and you can see there. Now we have this beard. A little bit kink in our beer, so you can see it gives you more roughness than you had kink in this. So let me show you without kink, it looks straight. So when you add kink, it gives you a natural roughness in it. So now we add, create a head uh, head here. So let's start just going on here dynamics require mass animation properties so it's okay just disable there we go now we select our object here polygon select polygon like we have here on our head so we start from front head like there just imagine you are a barber for now. So that's how you just match it with our beard so. So we are uh, we are have selected our polygons now. We don't want it here. Yeah. So, so let's go. So we just rename it here. Okay. And go back there. And go in simulation and add here. Yeah. 
So as you can see, we have here on our object. So same, go back in guides and decrease the length. So we want a bigger hair for this. We just go in editor, change pre a display from guard line to hairline. We add one more zero. So we just change the thickness 0 0.02, 0 0.02. So there we go. Now there is a two way. One, uh, we use like this, so you can get your hair like that with a dynamic system. And you can, as you can see here, so just copy and paste the same material, clear material on our hair. So let's see how it looks like with that. But it's not looking natural to me by the way. So we just add little bit kink here and we remove that material. Let's get material. Adjust the material from here. Let's cycle on the material around. Right. And see here. Yeah. Now we need uh, it look like a uh, some kind of bad, bad, bad haircut. So we need to fix it. So we just go in pink, we add a curl, and let's see curl, how it looks like. Oh, it's not looking good, so we don't use dynamic system, I think. So if we render it, how it looks like. As you can see, it looks more good, but we need to cut it like we do it before. We move curl. So let's do some cutting on his head. So we select here and go in select cut to. So we start from here. We don't want extra hair yeah. like that, like we have a egg mint, egg mint, duha, egg mint. So we have some cutting skills. Now we select a brush to so we start from here.
this look like? See how it's look like right now. It's looking a little bit mess. As you can see here, but the problem is that we have too much here. So that's how you create a fully random here. So as you can see here. So that's how you can create a fully random here. It's look like Look like uh, there is some uh, space. You just add more dynamic. So as you can see, it can fill out. Just play around with settings. So play around with these tools. You can brush. You can scale up, scale down with the live selection. Let me show you what I mean. So if you select this here, and you just scale it up. Like as you can see, it's just scale from there. So I hope you like this video. If you need to know more about this hair, let me know comment below. So I make tutorial on animal hair soon, so you can see more from them. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.